lots of treats for you. Lulu. Hey YouTube, greetings from Down Under. Today showing you a three-day itinerary if you want to visit Cairns, Australia. Let's go! Alright, let's check out the room. Oh wow! Alright, so first is the bathroom, and where's the light? Alright, alright. Not too big of a space, but I think it gets the job done. I mean, the shower is actually pretty nice. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the room itself. Large flat screen TV, some artwork. It seems very great barrier reef vibes. Oh yes nice bed and they were so nice they know that I'm a gold member and so they upgraded me to this view with a balcony Whoosh. look at that this place totally gives Hawaii vibes plus Great Barrier Reef plus a Ferris wheel also here's their fridge the fridge shouldn't have anything right but all the coffee is here and all the stuff that goes with the coffee. So, very nice. After a warm shower, let's go check out the premises. Here's the pool. waiting for happy hour to start. Hi. So I have one of this. Does it, uh, does it have like including like a sparkling wine? This was such a generous pour. Shout out to Jake. After enjoying my drink outside, let's check out the promenade area. Town is also a public pool here. It's some sort of exercise going on. Here we have the night markets. Definitely are very reminiscent of Southeast Asia. Oparu Miyage. I remember doing this at one point, I think, in Cambodia. We also have here a food court of sorts. Lots of fried foods here. Some of the places are actually closed, or they're not operating. Oh good, we got some more health food bar made, except it's mainly fried. <laughs> oh my god, look at these. You know, 11 US dollars for ramen is actually not bad at all. Now whether it tastes good, that's a different story. Alright, Australian McDonald's. Let's see that. Oh, Bacon Angus. Too bad it's sold out. Everything looks pretty much the same. How do I go back? Oh, chicken and fish. Looks spicy. Alright, this is all pretty much standard. Really scary. Let's see if the desserts are different. Oh, this is different. Oh, uh, I don't. Maltesers McFlurry. That's different. 
cookies, huh? Still have breakfast. Same. I mean, it's fancy they have sparkly water. And they have frozen Fanta too. Okay, alright, alright. Salted caramel fat. Oh. I think Cajun sauce is different. I don't know. Oh, they actually sell this with aioli sauce as well as whipped butter. Shut the front door here. They have an iced chai latte. That's a wrap for the first night. I did work out at their gym, so that was refreshing. Just a heads up that when I was here, there was some remodeling going on, but hopefully it's gone by the time you stay here. Time for breakfast. Let's see. Salad. Mm -hmm. What a lovely morning to go snorkeling in the Great Barrier Reef. Doesn't this have Waikiki vibes? Or at least Hawaii. Totally does. So you're here with us right now. You're gonna head out of the glass doors at the back. You okay. will see a large concrete jetty. On the left side, there is a ramp. Head on down that ramp, you will see ocean freedom. Is that, uh, which finger is it? Um, a finger. So when you go out, you'll see you'll see the big um, green sign with the letter A on it. The got ramp's it. like right next to that. Perfect. That um, boarding on the boat starts at 7.30, so you've okay. got about 15, 20 minutes. Sounds if you want good. a coffee while you wait, the Blue Island is a good one, but there will be tea, coffee, fruit, and pastries when you get on board the boat. Got it. And Great, thank you. Today? You're welcome. That was a pretty painless check-in. They give you this boarding card and then we're going to board in about 15 minutes and you have to meet them at one of the dock sessions and they're actually called Fingers. So we're going to meet at Finger A. <laughs> Hello, morning. Hi, how are you? Babe? Good, how are you? Well, yeah, good, thanks. Enjoy. Thanks. Hello. The feeling of snorkeling here is so surreal. Water is 50 shades of turquoise, and I got to see clownfish, coral, and sea turtles. After the snorkeling, I got some Balinese food and then went to a few bars for drinks. Here's one of them, and then we'll call it a night. Here at Rusty's Market. So this is a farmer's market that has for sale lots of exotic fruits, produce. Also seems here that there's food stalls as well. Oh, but anyway, here's the more produce section. So of course they have typical fruits, but also a little bit more exotic ones like dragon fruit, mango. That is called red pow pow. This one, oh, Granny Smith. Okay, <laughs> not that exotic, I guess. But they have these smaller green bananas. Oh, these avocados are very green. I just like being here because there's fans here, so it's nice and cool. Hello. Uh, I think you're supposed to be a visiting from. 
visiting from the United States. I am so excited because here you can go and hug a koala or more like let a koala latch onto you. So this is the Cairns Zoom and Wildlife Dome. It is a place where you can, again, let a koala latch onto you, play with reptiles, do other sort of like climbing and other kind of physical activity related things. It's right here in Cairns. And just so you know, you can't let a koala latch onto you in any part of Australia. So apparently I heard from my Aussie buddy that in New South Wales that they don't allow you to do that. You can take a photo with the koala, but you can't touch them or let them hug you. And so if you're gonna do that, you can do that in Cairns, which is what I'm gonna do. Or you can do in Adelaide, which I've heard that's a possibility too. So I am super excited to do this. Very stoked. Let's go. So in case you're wondering, you do have to get the actual main admission ticket to enter the zoo, plus the koala photo ticket to get a photo with the koala. And so for the times, these are the ones, just be there five minutes before the designated time, and the person that was working there says that you should be there for an earlier time, if possible. And apparently, they take it on their camera, right over there, and they will give you a printed copy, the printed copy, has some sort of code on it that you can go online to download an electronic copy. Lots of treats for you. Lulu! There she comes. So my experience was just like everyone else's, including these Japanese tourists. The handler will give some instructions and then Lulu the koala will latch onto your shoulder while you make a cupped motion with your hands. Then look at the camera and smile. And basically, my thought right after this experience was... My life is complete. super excited because I get to try boba for the first time in Australia. So this is Sweet Tea. It's inside this shopping plaza in Keynes and it's about like a 10 minute walk from where my hotel is. So I got the pearl milk tea because it's one of the top 10 drinks. Figured this was a good standard drink to try out to see if this place is good. It looks like it is based on reviews online. So let's go ahead and try it out. Ah! Mmm, lots of creaminess flavor in this one. And the sweetness level, mm, it's kind of sweet. But then again, here, Ben asked me for like sweetness level or ice, the amount of ice as well. So I guess everything is pretty much just kind of a set setting. And the bowl was nice and chewy, not mushy at all and not firm. All right, all right, I like this. Kind of makes sense too that what we'll hear will be good because it's quite a bit of Asian influence. Good job, sweet tea. And that is all. Thanks for watching. This is Show, and I'm signing off. <laughs>